Clymans High School is temporarily closed after a cancer-causing chemical was found in the groundwater under campus. KPX5 reporter Andrea Borbo joins us now live with the latest on the discovery that's leaving students in limbo. Andrea? Well, Veronica and Alan, it is unlikely that students at McClyman's High School will be back on campus anytime soon. They may not start classes again until the middle of next week. The billboard at McClyman's High School says the campus is closed Thursday and Friday, but it could be without students a lot longer, according to the Oakland Unified School District, after the discovery of a carcinogen in the groundwater. Monday, Monday looks kind of unlikely as far as when we can start up school again. Tuesday, Wednesday, probably likely. And classes for the school's 350 students will not be on the West Oakland campus when they do restart. Uh, we're looking at possibly put them, putting them in uh, West Oakland Middle School. That's one possibility. Uh, Prescott Elementary School has some room. Uh, and, and then there are some church groups that we're talking to about possibly using their properties as well. The concern is over TCE or trichloroethylene in the groundwater and whether it is vaporizing into classrooms. The school has had two alums recently die of cancer, Ramon Sanders and Daryl Akins, both football players. Councilmember Lynette Gibson McElhaney represents the West Oakland neighborhood. It's been heartbreaking to lose Ramon, to lose Daryl, to. Uh, Heartbreaking, just absolutely heartbreaking. There is, there is, there is nothing that can express the pain a parent feels at the premature loss of a child. She's advocating for a full rebuild of the high school, which has previously dealt with lead problems and increased monitoring in the surrounding neighborhood. In a statement, East Bay Mud says their water comes from the Sierra foothills. Groundwater is not our source. In the area by the school, TCE would not be able to enter our pressurized water distribution system. I'm nearby. I'm just worried about my water. I was like drinking a glass of water when I heard about that. And I put it down and I got suspicious and yeah it's just it's kind of alarming especially you know kids in this neighborhood deserve better. Now the air quality tests here at McClyman's High School will happen over this weekend. They hope to have the results very quickly so they can move on with next steps whether or not that is remediating this campus or moving someplace else. Alan. You know Andre last night there was some speculation but any definitive were tonight as to where that chemical came from? Well, at this point, OUSD said it's, it is not in their groundwater. It is not on their property. They are not the cause of all of this. But here in West Oakland, there are five identified sites that have TCE contamination. One is just a half mile from where I'm standing.